but I can't talk today. I just can't. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I did a nice soft look that's very appropriate for the daytime, for Valentine's Day. It's a little bit romantic. I did add a little bit of a silvery tone on my lid, which it kind of gives it like a little pop. Like we're there, but we're not all the way there, if you know what that means. All right guys, so if you're going on a fine date, or if you're not, you're just trying to slay like you do every single day, then please keep on watching. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get this video started. So the first thing that I did was I just moisturized my face with some Aveeno lotion because I've been extra dry lately in these winter months. I'm gonna prime my face and what I'm gonna use is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer and I'm gonna place it all over my face. I really enjoy this primer because it has coconut water and has probiotics and things like that and it keeps my face nice and hydrated. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm going to use these foundations paired together because they're full coverage, they're matte, and they last. So even though this is a daytime appropriate look, you might be going for a picnic, but you, you know, you might be doing more than eating a sandwich if you know what I mean. So I gotta, you know help you guys out with that and keep your makeup intact. So I'm going to mix both of the foundations together and I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to apply it all over my face. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to conceal and highlight. So the concealer that I'm using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake today and I'm gonna take my listen this fell and I don't want to talk about it it's like I lost a family member so let's pretend that it's not looking like that so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna dip it in there and we're gonna bake under the eyes under on the bridge of the nose and on the chin everywhere where I highlighted with the concealer So I'm going to take that Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to apply some concealer on my eyes and dab it around with my fingers to prime the eyes. We are done baking. I'm going to take my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush and I'm going to whisk away all the excess um, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder that I have all over my face. So for the eyes today, the palette that I'm gonna use is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. And it looks like this, it's so beautiful. And the first shade that I'm going to start with is with this shade called Rebel right here. And I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to use that Rebel shade on my lid and use it as a transition shade. Okay, so the next shadow in this palette that I'm gonna use is going to be the shadow leader right here and it's a really pretty like a plummy purple shade I'm going to apply it right under that rebel color and I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure I just want a little bit of dimension but I don't want that intense color since this is a day appropriate look I just want to give it a little something something nothing too crazy but we're gonna put that underneath the rebel shade and the brush that I'm gonna be using to apply that shadow is the Zoeva 224 Lux defined crease brush so I'm going to go back into the Rebel shade with the same uh, tapered blending E40 Sigma brush and I'm going to put it on top of the leader shade just so I can uh, blend everything out so everything looks seamlessly and everything is transitioned nice and blended nice. Alright guys, so the shade that I'm going to be using for the lid is this ColourPop Amaze Super Shock Shadow and I'm going to place it on the lid with my fingers because I think that Personally, it applies better with the finger and the uh, color payoff is a lot better using the fingers. I'm gonna take the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, the E40 brush, and I'm just gonna blend everything so there are no harsh lines. 
So I'm not going to do a wing today. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Cold Crayon Pencil in... Oh my god, this pencil says Baby Got Black. Pam, 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 Yo, that is such an awesome name, honestly. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Pencil and I'm just going to tight line my waterline so that we can blend the lashes really easily. And I'm going to take my eyeliner by Kat Von D in... The Trooper, the Trooper liner, the name wore off because I use it so much. And I'm just going to put it really, really close to my waterline so I have like kind of like a like a guideline of where to place the lashes, but I'm not doing a wing liner at all. The mascara that I'm going to use for the top of my lashes is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. I'm going to go ahead and apply some on my top lashes before I apply my falsies and apply some on my lower lash line. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I applied some falsies on off camera and I also filled in my brows. If you're interested in a brow tutorial, please let me know and comment on the box below. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bronze up the face and the bronzer that I'm going to be using today is Max Give Me Sun. It looks like this. It is such a beautiful bronzer and what I love about the mineralized skin finish it's it doesn't it's not very cakey you can build it and it's really really good for dry skin so I'm going to take that with a Zoeva 101 luxe face definer brush and I'm going to put it around my cheeks a little bit around my temples and under my chin So that I can have something moisturizing underneath my highlighter, today I'm going to use the Jordana Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick in the color Radiant Glow. This is a very similar product to the Benefit What's Up uh, highlighter stick. They're actually very similar and if I put them side by side, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell much of a difference. By the way, if you're interested in a dupe video, also comment on the comment box below because that would on these two are like literally dupes of each other so i would love to do a video on that i'm going to apply it on the tops of my cheeks on in a dabbing motion so the next highlighter that i'm going to use on top of the jordana one is this becca champagne pop highlighter and what i'm going to use to apply that highlight with is my Morphe 310 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply that on the tops of my cheeks, on my temples, and on the bridge of my nose, as well as the tip of my nose. I'm also gonna take that champagne pop color and I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush and spritz it with some Fix Plus. I don't know, that's always scary for me. I'm gonna pop it in the inner corner of my eyes. Is this inner corner not blinding yet? Like it needs to be like whoosh, all up in your face. I'm gonna take the blush uh, by MAC in Peaches, no surprise here. And I'm gonna be using the Dual Fiber Face Brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to apply that between my bronzer and my highlighter just so everything can blend in. Alright guys, so for my lips today, I'm going to use this new Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in Cinnamon Toast. I've actually used this before, and not for nothing, it really makes me feel some type of way that I'm out here spending $20 to $30 on liquid lipsticks when this is like maybe $5 and it is such a good liquid lipstick. So I'm going to apply that all over my lips to complete the look. Alright guys, so this completes the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys really have really fun dates, whatever you guys are doing and I hope that your date is like, damn shawty, is that all yours? And don't worry about me, I have a date and he's special. Actually, I'm going to introduce you to him. Alright guys, so his name is Levi. Say hi Levi! Oh, you see? I'm going to get love for Valentine's Day. No worries here. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love y'all.